good while since I got a diplomat pen. I forgot about diplomat for a little while until that Farney's catalog got to me and I opened it up and I saw the pen that's inside this box, which is the Diplomat Excellence A plus in the waves pattern. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, wow, that is a good looking pen. And then I remembered my arrows that I have, they have pretty good nibs. They're stainless steel nibs and they write like butter. Here's the box it comes in. It's got the Diplomat flower. I think it's called an ink flower, ink block flower or whatever. And let me take this sleeve off. And I really like Diplomat's very interesting presentation. So the top of the box is actually aluminum and it slides right off. It's just, I mean, that's, it's different from what other pen brands are doing. And so once that's slid off, you've got this white piece of paper. It says Diplomat. Take that off. And finally, we've got our pen, right? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I, I mean, once I saw it, I was like, you know, I would really like to see that in person, so. I'm um, taking off this false bottom underneath. You've got, let's see, you've got two ink cartridges that come with the pen, just in case you don't have any ink to ink it up with, and an international diplomat guarantee certificate. Yeah, it's gorgeous, right? Especially the way that it reflects light on those waves. So it is a galoche patterning. There's no lacquer that goes over it or anything. So you can feel the waves on this pen. And I really love how this beautiful silver metal is contrasted with this matte black. It gives a nice contrast between shiny and matte and also between the texture of the flat versus the waves. And I just really love that. The Diplomat Excellence comes in other versions. This is like the A+. The A+, has like some deluxe features such as a, a spring-loaded clip. And it also has a twist-off cap. It's like just the smallest turn. So it was, that's it. It's really cool, right? So here's the nib. The nib is a nice big number six Yovo nib, it's got a plastic feed. And the grip section is this, it's plastic, basically it's resin. And I'd imagine that if they would have been like a metal section, you know, that's for those people who have fingertips that tend to slide down the grip section. I can feel that with this resin that my fingers aren't gonna move at all. And it's actually quite comfortable. In my opinion, I think that I don't mind the resin section. It's just, I kind of feel like for this kind of pen, I just feel like it should just be a bit more. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe kind of like what the Arrow has, which is like a matte metal section, which is real nice. I don't hate it. Let's put it that way. And you know, I have to say I had I had a serious debate with myself whether or not I wanted to get this pen with the stainless steel nib or if I wanted to cough up the extra $100 to $150 for a 14 karat gold nib. The one thing obviously that convinced me to get the stainless steel nib is that I know for a fact that stainless steel nibs that come out of the Diplomat factory are tuned before they go into this box and before you buy it. So they are all tuned, which I think that's a great feature. That's why all Diplomat nibs write pretty damn good. You know, knowing that, I was like, you know, I'll save the money after, I mean, obviously I convinced myself to get the stainless steel nib. And the reason why is because I got the arrow and the black stripes. I just thought they would look good together. So I got two pens basically for the price of getting the Excellence A Plus with a gold nib. I figured later on down the road, cause Apple Bloom, I noticed they do sell the nibs separately. So if I wanted to get a replacement nib, even if I wanted to get a replacement stainless steel nib in a different size, I could. But if I wanted to get the 14 karat gold nib separately, I could, and it's about, it was about $150, $160, I believe, to buy that. So maybe sometime down the road, I will do that and 
That way I can have a chance to try the Diplomat 14 karat gold and see what the difference is, how it writes compared to the stainless steel then. The pen does post. Let me go ahead and post that so you see. And it posts very deeply, which makes the pen a really nice size. And even though this, this is a metal pen, in fact, it's brass, it's, it's actually not too heavy. I, I do tend to write with my pens unposted and to me, this feels perfect. And I really like the details though. Like I wish that this grip section could be matte just like this, this part of the barrel. I think that would have looked really cool. But you know, it, it's not like Diplomat has me on like as a designer. They should, because I can really help out with those decisions. On the finial, there's the Diplomat ink flower, if you will, there. But I mean, that's, that's a really good looking pen. It really is. And I, I find it to be very classy and it could be for, you know, a guy or a gal, you know, who really wants a pen that really stands out. I just, I can't take my eyes off of that. <laughs> that galoche pattern, it just looks so cool. I love it when the light catches it. Well, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink this pen up and let's see how that Diplomat stainless steel nib writes. did not disappoint. It really does write well. Diplomat stainless steel nibs have to be some of the smoothest writers around. Seriously, I mean, why don't some of these other pen manufacturers take like, you know, a hint from Diplomat who obviously cares enough about their nibs before they go out to tune them for the, for the customer? Why don't some of these other places take that kind of care into their nibs before they go out? Even on like, you know, like places like Monte Grappa, you know, before they, they send out like their gold nibs, why not, since someone is spending over a thousand dollars on a very expensive pen, why not tune the gold nib before it goes out? So that way, when you open the box, you ink the pen up, it writes awesomely right out of the box. I mean, if a pen costs over a thousand dollars, I mean, it should totally have a smooth writing nib. That's my opinion. I have a feeling that a lot of you out there probably agree with me too, right? That's my little rant of the day. So, but this pen, of course, performed well. I love it. 
I'm really happy with this purchase. I ended up getting this pen um, from Goldspot. You know, Goldspot actually had, seemed to have the best prices for this pen compared to, I went and I looked around at, uh, you know, some of the retailers overseas like Apple Boom and Colt Pens. And I, I got it for Gold, at Goldspot for a relatively good price. And the reason for that is because I used the coupon code ROY, which got me 10% off my purchase. So the MSRP, for this pen is $325 and at Gold Spot it is selling for $227.50. And so get that coupon code ROY and you can get it way closer to the $200 mark. And I honestly think for $200 for a pen that looks like this and with a smooth writing Yovo nib that is tuned before it leaves the factory. I think that's a good price. I really do. This is my first excellence, by the way. I've got a few arrows, but this is my first excellence. Did very, very well. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you learned a little more about Diplomat pens and also about the Diplomat Excellence A+. Plus. A+. Plus. Kind of lives up to its name, doesn't it? All right, that's all I've got. And that's how the ink flows.